he like? Mr. Gray will see you now. He was really smart, very intense. To what do you owe your success? I've always been good at people. I have a natural instinct for what makes a person tick. Anastasia? Christian. You realize that they haven't stopped looking at you. Have you met someone? Be free. I like to see your face. It gives me some clue what you might be thinking. So you're a control freak? I exercise control in all things. It must be really boring. going to make a lot of money. Now, as for my appearance, I just came out of the rain myself, although unlike Anastasia Steele, it wasn't a metaphor for the hot sex I wanted to have with this dude I just met who owned a multi-billion dollar company. I have to say, I'm very surprised with the focus on Christian Grey's wealth. On the one hand, I think it's pretty brilliant, because as I said with the first trailer for this, this is clearly like the porno version of Cinderella, or maybe the ideal version of Cinderella, depending on what kind of fairy tale you like. And speaking of fairy tales, as they said in Pretty Woman, I want the fairy tale. And it's clear in 2014, we still want the fairy tale. And Christian Grey is our Prince Charming. Uh, but as I said, huge focus on wealth here. And I think it's very clever to kind of show the differences in them getting ready for their meeting, you know, uh, where he comes from and where she comes from. But I'm curious, would Anastasia Steele be as uh, interested, uh, would she also be as curious about the Red Room of Pain if it was in a two-bedroom apartment? Uh, we'll just see how this plays out for the film itself. Uh, I do think the trailer overall is very well done. I'm impressed with the way it's put together. I think Sam Taylor Johnson, you know, it's interesting. Earlier today, I did a spotlight on Dakota Johnson, who plays Anastasia Steele, talking about whether or not anyone would pay any attention to her, considering uh, Christian Grey, a.k.a. Jamie Dornan, is on screen. But the more I see of the movie, the only thing multidimensional about Christian Grey is Jamie Dornan's ad, uh, uh, abs, whereas I think Anastasia Steele is becoming very well fleshed out. Oh, the puns, pun city. Uh, but I think her character looks interesting. And I think that Dakota Johnson might be the one to walk away here with a fan base. And maybe even behind the camera, Sam Taylor Johnson. Yes, how weird is that they're both named Johnson? Uh, but the two women might walk away with the more successful uh, career boost out of this, which would be very interesting indeed. I guess, you know, the target demographic, of course, is largely women uh, as well. So maybe that would make sense. Uh, but Sam Taylor Johnson, you know, she's had a hard time transitioning to the mainstream, and she's been known for being quite alternative, actually, uh, you know, aggressively alternative. So to see her do such a good job making this material as mainstream as possible is surprising. It's a welcome surprise. And it looks like she was indeed the right person to direct this film. Also, I hope she's ready for a lot of attention. You might not know this about Sam, T Sam Taylor Johnson, but she has her own boy toy, and that's Aaron Taylor Johnson, aka the new Quicksilver in the upcoming Avengers Age of Ultron film. She's 23 years older than him. It's a very interesting relationship. 
Uh, she met him when she cast him in a film. Uh, I believe he played John Lennon there, and she was actually, I think, either married or you know separated. But she left her husband for Aaron Taylor Johnson, and they have you know a nice family together. But it's a very interesting relationship. It's mostly stand on the fringe, uh, but I think it's going to be thrust into the spotlight now as she too enters the spotlight with Fifty Shades of Grey. But the trailer itself, love the beginning, the juxtaposing how they get ready for the day. Then it got kind of like standard rom com -y. But then it got totally kinky, which was also really weird, but intriguing. And it looks like this movie might go pretty far. It looks like it's going to go pretty far. There are some points in the trailer where I was like, I'm glad I'm watching this by myself. And the question is, will everybody watch this at home and streaming, or will people venture to the theater to see it? Are you planning to see Fifty Shades of Grey? Is the Red Room of Pain starting to seem a little more accessible to you as Sam Taylor Johnson presents it in a more mainstream light? And if you are going to see it, are you going to see it at home, in the, you know, in the secrecy of your own home? Or are you going to brave it uh, to the theaters on Valentine's Day? Write your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning in to my review. And you can check out some spotlights on both Christian Grey, the appeal of Christian Grey, and uh, Dakota Johnson, her history. She has a really big history, actually, in Hollywood with her family. Uh, you can check out those episodes right now. Thanks for watching. Bye.